udatam min lisani yafqahu qawli Allahumma inni as'aluka ilman nafiyan rizqan tayyiban wa amalan mutakabbala shifa min kulli da This is Dr. Zunaira Fez Today the topic of discussion is benign and pre-malignant diseases of the cervix Benign diseases of the cervix are common and they are unusually asymptomatic or cause minor symptoms but must be differentiated from malignancy. Cervical cancer is the second commonest cancer in the woman. It is preceded by a pre-malignant form years before its invasion. Screening for pre-malignant disease of the cervix markedly reduces the deaths from cervical cancer. Now, to understand the normal cervical epithelium and to able to define the metaplasia and dysplasia, to understand the concept of cervical screening and to outline the principles of colposcopy, to outline the management of cervical intraepithelial neoplasia are the objectives. Epithelium of the cervix, if we see, it is in the childhood. It looks like this, then childbearing age and then postmenopausal again it looks like the childhood transformational zone the area of cervix between the old and new squamous squamous columnar junction it is the area of risk of developing premalignant and malignant disease of the cervix benign diseases of the cervix they are number 1 cervical ectropion number 2 nevothian follicle number 3 cervical fibroids and number four, cervical polyps. Cervical ectropion, that is erosion. Physiological presence of the columnar epithelium on the ectrocervix increases in pregnancy and oral contraceptive pills may lead to vaginal discharge and postcoital bleeding. Management includes reassurance, exclude other causes, and if distressing, coagulation. Nebothian follicle, endocervical glands in the transformational zone become covered with squamous cells and forms mucus-filled cysts. On examination, appear as raised blue or yellow nodules, 1 to, 1, 1 to 3 mm in diameter. Nebothian follicles require no, treat, no treatment. Cervical fibroids. Cervix, cervix is the rare site for the cervical fibroids, but may cause pressure symptoms, may cause menorrhagia, may obstruct vaginal delivery, diagnosis by ultrasound, and treatment is it is myomectomy. Cervical polyp, most common cervical tumor, ectocervical, endocervical, and it is friable, soft, red protuberance. Size few millimeter to several centimeter in size may have stock. Signs and symptoms: vaginal discharge, postcoital bleeding. Generally, do not become malignant. May reoccur. Cytology shows the inflammatory atypia. Diagnosis is by biopsy. Differential diagnosis, endometrial polyp, may be precancerous lien, and the treatment is polypectomy. pre diseases of the cervix, as we see in the normal cervix, human pupilloma virus, HPV infection, then CIN, cervical intraepithelial neoplasia 1, CIN 2, CIN 3, and then it will turn towards the cervical cancer. HPV infection, it is a DNA virus. Human papilloma virus is the DNA virus. Over 100 different types and subtypes of this virus. Common infection affecting epithelial surface. Genital human papilloma virus is divided into low risk type human papilloma virus 6 and 11 cause genital warts. High risk types HPV 16 and 18. 31, 33, 46, and 56. HPV is a common infection while cervical cancer is a rare disease. Factors that increase the risk of transmission are smoking, increasing parity, early age of intercourse, oral contraceptive pills, and immunity. Cervical intraepithelial neoplasia, metaplasia that is change of epithelium from one cell lining columnar to another squamous type. Dysplasia, abnormal epithelial cells that fail to maturate. Hyperchromasia, larger, viable, variable size, mitosis. It may be mild, moderate, or severe. Classification of CIN, as you can see, it's a normal. Then CIN1A, it's a mild dysplasia. 
in CIN2, moderate dysplasia, this change of shape and the hypochromasia, nucleus size is enlarged. CIN3, severe dysplasia, and here again, the, you can see the shapes and size of the cells. It is increasing to become large, blurred and bizarre shaped. And then is the invasive cancer when the epithelium is disrupted. Cervical disease progression. It, it is normal epithelium as you can see. Persistent infection if it is there. Mild cervical lien, HPV infection, CIN1 and then CIN2. Precancerous lien, that is CIN3 and then cervical cancer. It takes from months to years to develop from this picture and to this picture of the cancer, cervical cancer. Outcome of CIN. Spontaneous regression, progression to invasive cancer, progression from one state to another takes place. Detection and treatment of CIN prevents cancer cervix. Screening for CIN, cervical smear. Screening for dysplasia by obtaining cervical cytology. Cervical screening should be carried out every three to five years in all sexually active women from 20 to 60 years of age. There is a 10 to 15 percent chance of false positive or false negative results pap smear named after Papanicolo, the inventor of the test has been a gold standard in the detection of abnormal cervical pathology liquid based cytology coupled with hpv testing have now proved better in efficacy american terms of low grade and high grade intraepithelial lien squamous intraepithelial liens are more common in use management of cytology results as we see, we can see the smear here, the risk of having high risk, high grade squamous intra epithelial lien, then is the management, if next smear is negative, and here you can see the smear, normal, inflammatory, borderline, mild dyscariosis, moderate dyscariosis, severe dyscariosis, and invasion suspected. Here, the risk is less, it is less, it is about 0.1%. And then increasing to 20 to 30 percent, 50 to 70 percent, 80 to 90 percent, and then 50 percent in VM. Management, it repeat, we have to repeat the cytology three to five years. Then, here in the borderline cases, repeat after six months and mild dyscariosis, repeat in three months or refer for colposcopy. But with the moderate dyscariosis and severe dyscariosis, colposcopy should be done and invariant suspected if then urgent colposcopy should be done. And then again, if next smear is negative, we have to do, in this all normal, inflammatory, routinely we should take that patient. But if it is borderline, repeat after one year, then two and then routines, it is colposcopy if three, that is borderline. Repeat one year, then two, then routine colposcopy if three, borderline. And here in the more disc moderate dyscoriosis and severe dyscoriosis, repeat after treatment and repeat after treatment again. Colposcopy, it is the inspection of the cervix with the low power microscope, magnifies the cervix 4 to 20 times. The patient is put in lithotomy position, passing a bivalve speculum gently into the vagina. Inspection of the cervix and its vasculature, green filter may help studying vasculature. Abnormal vascular structure includes punctuation and mosaicism. Acetic acid test, application of 3% acetic acid stains the abnormal area. The degree of staining correlates with severity of the lien. Schiller test, application of low goals iodine stains the normal cervix brown. Colposcopy gives a clinical diagnosis. Punch biopsy from the abnormal area gives a histopathological diagnosis. Management of abnormal colposcopy. CIN 1, 2, 3, and then techniques for treatment, XCNL, that is LLETZ, which is large loop XCN of the transformation zone, laser cone, knife cone, hysterectomy, then is ablative, that includes the radical electrodiathermy, core coagulation, cryocautery, and laser, 90 to 95% cure rate. Human papilloma virus vaccine, the first vaccine that intends to prevent cancer. Two forms of vaccine are available, bivalent 16 to 18, quadrivalent 36, 11, 16 and 18, now licensed in a number of countries. Summary, 
benign diseases of the cervix are harmless but malignancy should be excluded cervical intraepithelial neoplasia proceeds cancer cervix by years screening for cin reduces mortality from cancer cervix those with positive screening test should be referred to colposcopy for diagnosis and treatment now pap smear test the procedure and this is the different you see this is the procedure and this is the short video which will increase your knowledge And uh, depends on the inflammation. Of course, cytology preservation solution and the light source. We don't have it. Okay. three to five times okay then take it out Thank <laughs> you. 